Picture Lake Mead, a massive reservoir shimmering under the desert sun. Imagine its vast expanse, a crucial source of life in the arid southwest. Once brimming with water, reaching almost to the top of those canyon walls, it's now marked by a glaring white bathtub ring. This stark line tells a story of loss. That ring sits high above its shrunken shoreline, a visual representation of the severe drought gripping the region. The water has receded dramatically. This ring is a warning etched into the landscape itself. The lake is draining and the consequences ripple far beyond its immediate banks, impacting communities and ecosystems alike. The effects are widespread and deeply concerning. Boats sit stranded on dry land, monuments to a wetter past. Marinas have closed, their docks now reaching towards empty space where water once flowed. And long-lost relics, artifacts of previous eras, are emerging from the receding water, offering glimpses into the past while highlighting the present crisis. Lake Mead is the main water source for over 25 million people, a lifeline for major cities and countless communities and countless farms across the Southwest depend on its waters to nourish the land and sustain our agricultural system. Its water grows our food, filling grocery stores and feeding families across the nation. Powers our cities, providing the electricity that keeps our homes lit and our businesses running, and cools us in the desert heat, offering respite from the scorching temperatures that define the region. But as the lake shrinks, rapidly and alarmingly, the region faces a crisis of unprecedented scale one that affects everything from the glittering city lights of Las Vegas to the food we put on our dinner plates each and every night. The exposed shoreline is a stark measurement, a visual representation of our growing water deficit. Every foot the water drops, the challenge grows exponentially for everyone who depends on it, demanding innovative solutions and immediate action. How did we get here, to this critical juncture in the history of the American Southwest? What happens if the water keeps disappearing, if Lake Mead continues its descent towards becoming a dry basin. The shrinking lake is a wake-up call, a blaring alarm signaling the urgent need for change, forcing us to rethink our relationship with water, to value it as the precious resource it truly is. This isn't just a local problem, it's a warning for us all, a microcosm of the global water crisis unfolding around the world. The story of Lake Mead is about survival, about our ability to adapt and innovate in a rapidly changing world, Will we listen to the warning signs before it's truly too late to reverse course? To truly understand the gravity of Lake Mead's current crisis and the challenges it presents, we need to journey back to the 1930s, a pivotal era in the history of the American Southwest. This was a time when the wild and untamed Colorado River, a force of nature, was finally brought under control by the construction of the monumental Hoover Dam. The construction of the dam led to the creation of Lake Mead, which became the largest man-made reservoir in the entire United States, a true testament to engineering prowess. This massive reservoir was designed to store precious water for the inevitable dry years and to provide a reliable water source, fueling the rapid growth of cities and the expansion of farms across the arid Southwest. At its peak, Lake Mead held an astonishing amount of water, enough to cover the entire state of Pennsylvania in a foot of water. This vast water savings account became the lifeblood powering the booming metropolises of Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Los Angeles, and sustaining the productivity of vast agricultural valleys, turning deserts into fertile farmlands. For many decades, the system appeared to work flawlessly. Cities thrived and expanded, crops flourished in the once barren landscapes, and the lake, brimming with water, became a powerful symbol of abundance and prosperity in the desert. However, the dam's visionary designers, despite their ingenuity, simply couldn't foresee the immense challenges that the future would bring, including explosive population growth that strained resources, the increasingly devastating effects of climate change, and a river system stretched far beyond its natural limits, struggling to meet ever-increasing demands. The story of Lake Mead is a compelling narrative of human ambition and ingenuity but it also serves as a stark reminder of the inherent limits of our control over the powerful forces of nature. Now, almost a century after its creation, the Southwest region is grappling with a harsh new reality, a situation demanding immediate attention. The future of this entire region, its cities, its agriculture, and its people, now hinges on how effectively and responsibly we choose to respond to this unprecedented challenge. Lake Mead, once a vibrant oasis in the desert, 
now tells a stark tale of water scarcity. Why is Lake Mead, this crucial reservoir, drying up at an alarming rate? What are the underlying factors contributing to this dramatic decline? Three primary forces are converging to create this crisis. Relentless drought, a prolonged period of significantly below average precipitation, climate change, exacerbating the situation with rising temperatures and altered weather patterns, and unsustainable overuse, where demand far exceeds the available supply. The Southwest is currently gripped by a mega drought, the most severe and prolonged dry spell in over a thousand years, according to scientific data. Less snow falls in the Rockies each winter, so significantly less water flows into the Colorado River, the lifeblood of the region. Climate change further intensifies the problem. Hotter air means a dramatic increase in evaporation rates, shrinking the lake at an accelerated and unsustainable pace. Meanwhile, the demand for water continues to rise relentlessly. The Colorado River's water resources were initially divided up during an unusually wet period in history, resulting in a situation where more water is promised to various users than the river is realistically capable of providing. Cities across the Southwest have experienced explosive growth in recent decades, and agricultural operations still require vast and often inefficient amounts of water for irrigation. In essence, we're extracting significantly more water than nature is replenishing, effectively living on borrowed water, depleting a finite resource. The bathtub ring around Lake Mead is a stark visual reminder that the water is rapidly draining away, and the consequences of this unsustainable water management are rapidly coming due. This isn't a sudden, unexpected disaster, but rather a slow-motion emergency that has been unfolding for years. The delicate balance of the Colorado River system is fundamentally broken, and the consequences of this imbalance are steadily mounting across the Southwest. The critical choices we make now will ultimately determine the long-term fate and sustainability of the entire Southwest region. Can we collectively restore balance to this vital water system before the well completely runs dry? The clock is ticking, and the urgency of the situation cannot be overstated. As Lake Mead falls, the impacts are immediate and far-reaching. The Hoover Dam's turbines slow, producing less clean power, forcing cities to buy more expensive, polluting energy. Water cutbacks hit hardest in agriculture. Farmers leave fields unplanted or switch to less thirsty crops. Wildlife suffers as habitats shrink and water temperatures rise. Endangered fish and birds lose their homes, and the lower river's forests wither. The shrinking lake is not just an engineering problem. It's an ecological crisis. Every drop loss means tougher choices for families, businesses, and nature. The web of life in the Southwest is unraveling. There's a nightmare scenario, Deadpool. If Lake Mead drops too low, water can't flow downstream, cutting off cities, farms, and entire communities. Even before that, the dam could stop generating power, leaving millions without clean electricity. Emergency measures would be costly and unsustainable. The threat of dead pool forces states to negotiate, make painful cuts, and rethink old habits. Recent conservation and a wet winter have bought time, but the danger remains. The system's fragility is clear. One bad year could tip the balance. The fight to avoid disaster is urgent and ongoing. The Southwest isn't giving up. Seven states are negotiating historic water cutbacks, working together to stabilize the system. Cities like Las Vegas lead in conservation, tearing out lawns, recycling water, and investing in new technology. Farmers are switching to drip irrigation and less thirsty crops, sometimes leaving fields unplanted for cash incentives. Massive engineering projects like Las Vegas's Third Straw ensure water access even as the lake drops. Every sector is being forced to adapt, innovate, and sacrifice. Saving Lake Mead means changing how we value every drop. The fight is tough, but it's not over. Lake Mead's crisis isn't just a Southwest problem, it's a warning for us all. The food we eat, the goods we buy, and the lessons learned here matter everywhere. Water is precious and finite. Conservation is everyone's responsibility. Small changes, fixing leaks, shorter showers, less food waste, add up. Our choices as consumers and citizens ripple back to the source. We must shift from assuming abundance to practicing stewardship. Support smart policies, educate others, and demand efficiency. The fate of Lake Mead is a test of our adaptability and resolve. The bathtub ring is a warning, but also a call to action. The future depends on what we do, together, starting now.